Great. So we're super excited to be here with you all this morning to talk about demo driven um, revenue acceleration. But before we jump in, we're actually going to pass it over to, to Taylor to remind us all of some housekeeping items. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining Zaster and for joining this amazing session. Um, really excited to have you all here. Just a few reminders. Most of you are viewing this session from our event platform. We hope you're enjoying it. We're hoping you're taking full advantage of that um, and some of the great functions there. Um, to submit a question to the speakers, just drop it in the question feature on the right rail of your screen. Um, if you'd like to directly engage with the speakers and be part of this meeting where you can turn your video off and ask them a question live, just click join us on stage button just below the player. We'll take your questions at the end and you'll be able to join us in this room. It's a 20 minute interactive session, so please make sure you ask your questions and keep your cameras on if you decide to join us um, on the stage. Um, and then everything will be recorded and we'll be sharing the slides post event. So without further ado, Misha, um, I will pass it straight back to you guys. Thank you, Taylor. Um, so the art of the product demo is what we are here to, to talk about. And hopefully we're gonna present some new ideas and um, concepts that you guys can take back with you. But traditionally the product demo has really um, kind of you know followed a really specific formula. Um, it's presented by someone in sales, um, maybe an account executive or a sales engineer, depending on the size of your organization or you know the size of the deal. It's really presented as more of a product overview or a tour, so not a lot of two-way communication. And then lastly, presented in the, the middle or the end of a, a sales cycle. So I know from my past experience, this was absolutely the case. Um, presenting a demo too early in the deal before discovery and qualification um, was completed is, was really kind of discouraged even though customers were asking for it and wanted it all the time. So um, would love to hear from the audience in chat if this is, you know, resonates with you, if it's true either where you're at today or maybe um, before or in a previous um, job. So, so just to kind of summarize, demos are always um, presented generic and really used kind of at the end of the sales cycle to close the deal. But today we're actually going to talk about some trends in the industry and new concepts that will challenge the status quo. So these two um, things that we're going to talk about are product-led growth and, and revenue operations. So product-led growth is probably something that um, you all have heard of, but it's a go-to-market strategy that relies on using your product as the main vehicle to acquire, activate, and retain customers. Um, so this might take form um, in a free, free trial. So you can actually go right to the website sign up for a free trial, um, play around a little bit, and maybe even from there upgrade directly to a paid product without ever talking to someone in sales. The other um, theme that we're seeing all the time, and, and it's becoming more and more common, I think in companies as a function is revenue operations. And this revenue operations role really seeks to align, enable, and hold um, revenue teams accountable to accelerate growth across the full customer life cycle. So teams like marketing, sales, customer success, and partnerships usually kind of roll up under this RevOps um, idea. So um, we believe that you can be product led with, within every revenue team to facilitate conversations and move business forward. So that's why we think that these two concepts together are so powerful. And the combination of product led plus revenue ops, where you're actually leveraging product throughout the customer life cycle, we are calling demo driven revenue acceleration. So what is that? That is driving discovery, building connection and making value more tangible using product demos throughout the customer life cycle. And I'm actually gonna pass it over to Robert to talk about three ways maybe you can think about doing this. Thanks Misha. And one thing we'd love to learn in the chat is just tell us how you're demoing right now. Are you demoing uh, very early? Are you demoing at the very end of your cycle? You know, throw a little bit of insight there for us. Um, so one of the, the main ways that you can leverage demo driven revenue acceleration is by showing products as early as possible. Uh, so now that, that doesn't always make sense. Uh, maybe in your mind, if you have a very complicated uh, product, uh, you need to be able to tell a story. You need to be able to, to guide them through it. Uh, you've definitely heard the phrase, 
never demo before discovery before probably if you're uh, in the business of demoing. And that isn't uh, incorrect. We're not really refuting that phrase if what you're de delivering is a full demo that's untailored. But your prospects, they're coming to you and they want to see your product. That's why they clicked on the, the get a demo button, right? They, they want that value. Uh, they need to be able to see and understand a little bit of your product to um, make it tangible so that you can have a, a, a quality conversation right off the bat. Um, so one of the ways that you can do that, uh, even as early as the first call is what we're calling a micro demo. And essentially what a micro demo is, is a visual product story. So it's not a full demo. You're, you're not just throwing them into, uh, a sandbox or, um, you know, giving a 30 minute, uh, tour, uh, right off the bat, but we are leveraging product on a first call to help facilitate the discussion. So uh, again, I'm emphasizing the first call. On some companies, it may make sense to be product-led even sooner than the first call. You might have a free trial. You might have a public demo. That's not gonna be a, a, you know, the best fit for every single type of company that's out there or product that's out there. You have to make that decision based on your product and your customer, um, but, if you have a first type of introduction call in the, in the sales process, uh, what we're definitely saying is the best customer experience that you can provide on that call is to give them some value in the form of product and then to leverage that to facilitate the discussion. So uh, a, a few ways that you can do that with, with micro demos. So one is start off, create a visual uh, that shows all the problems that you, your, your, your product solves, uh, create a visual for each one of them that shows your product solving it. Uh, create this before and after situation. So when you're in the, the, that first call and you're talking through their problems and you hear them say a particular problem, know that in your back pocket, you have a visual that actually is the after of that problem um, using your solution. And it can just simply be a screenshot, a video, if you have the ability to create tailored demos uh, easily, uh, that would be even better. Um, but we recommend having those uh, templates in your back pocket. And then if you have those, then you can facilitate the discussion um, by also showing uh, visually like a menu of your high level problems and not necessarily reading through every single problem that you solve, but showing it, making it very clear and allowing the prospect to identify a problem and then you start talking deeper and deeper about it. And whatever problem that they're, it's really obvious that is painful for them. Uh, you're diving in a little bit deeper with them uh, on that menu, on that specific menu item, pull up that uh, visual product story, um, give them some value uh, with that screen of that product uh, and then leverage that visual uh, to make discovery much more tangible for them. They understand your product a little bit better. They're happy that you showed them a little bit of product. There's some trust being built there. There's some authenticity going on and utilize that visual to just move that conversation forward and try and get some insights as early as possible. So in short, give value in the form of product and get value in the form of insight. They're much more likely to give you insightful responses if they have some type of visual framing for them to work with. So micro demos, uh, also what they do is they, they create excitement. Uh, if you tell them about, you're talking about this really big problem that they have, and then you show them your product solving that problem um, with a simple screen, they're gonna wanna know how that is done. So they're gonna want to jump into that next deeper dive uh, demo to see how that is accomplished uh, so make that the story of that first call. Find that one thing that's going to get them excited. And then hopefully get some some decent insight uh, through your discovery conversation that is going to fuel um, down funnel success. The other thing I might add, Robert, is 
prospects these days are really well informed. So there are a ton of resources at their fingertips. So, um, you know, demoing earlier is giving them something unique that maybe they can't, you know, just, just find through a Google search or through a reference. So um, just to kind of, to reiterate, it's, it's that building credibility and, and giving the prospects something that they couldn't get on their own while making sure that you're also getting um, some, some insight out of the conversation. The next big way that you can be, um, you know, taking advantage of demo driven revenue acceleration and just leveraging product more uh, in your customer life cycle is to kill the presentation, uh, eliminate giving a presentation when you give your first full demo. And what I mean by that is you have, you have your best asset there in front of you. You have your products, you have your, vi you, it's all visual. Utilize that to facilitate the, the discussion, have a discussion back and forth with the prospect. If you went through the exercise of the micro demo, then hopefully you're able to get uh, a decent amount of discovery done even within a 30 minute introduction call. Uh, you've identified a core problem that they uh, care about most. You probably identify what their persona is. So step one of a discovery demo is to try to make that as tailored right off the bat as you can. So you may not be able to do a full kind of custom POC level demo, but when any way that you can tailor that, that first demo to what you've already known, um, know about that prospect, that's gonna help you uh, have a more relevant uh, conversation and connect with them deeper. Um, and it's gonna help you facilitate that, that discussion. So, the core tenet of what we're calling a discovery demo is not to do discovery and then do the demo. So you might've heard of a disco demo and that's typically, okay, I'm gonna do discovery on the same call as I do the demo, but it's still two separate things. And what we're saying is no, combine those, make those happen at the same exact time. Leverage your product and the visuals of your product to facilitate that discovery. So if you, within your first few minutes or first minute of giving that demo, you're at, you're asking them a question and you're, you're starting that engagement, that's going to feel, you know, very different for them compared to a lot of other demos that they've been on. In fact, probably what's happening most of the time is just say, okay, we're going to give you a 30 minute demo. And at best they uh, have these milestone points where they say, um, oh, do you have any questions? or does this make sense? And at worst, give a full 30 minute demo and, and ask those questions. And now all these objections are building up, all these questions are building up and it's all out of context and the, the demo is off the rails by the time you get to the questions. So you wanna guide that conversation based on what you already know about them. And if you do that right off the bat, you're, you're saying this is a collaborative selling situation, you're showing the prospect that you care about solving problems for them not just selling them, right? Because imagine you just jump into a room and it's like you're in a boardroom and someone's up there giving this, this presentation and after it's like, oh, do I have your business? The, the core purpose of that is just to, to pitch and to sell. So we wanna partner with the prospect to really find what, what's the key value that we can get out of the product? What's the key problem we can solve for them um, and to, to get them excited and help win the deal. And you should be doing this as many times as you need to get the deal done. Uh, do as many discovery demos as you need, but keep doing it in that way. Uh, don't present the demo until you have a final you know, POC uh, proof of concept demo where you know it's, a, it's basically a done deal. You've done all of your discovery. Um, so yeah, use discovery demos to uncover what is needed from your product to win the deal. And can't stress this enough, don't separate discovery from product. It's your best asset that you have to facilitate discovery because that is what they want. Don't um, surprise them with that product at the end and try to tie the dots between your discovery uh, and your product. You can do that as you go and then there's no big surprises uh, at, towards the end of the call. It's gonna risk that deal. It, it, basically, it shouldn't be a binary decision by the time you get to a proof of concept you should know through your engagement with them and your collaboration with them that if you do this POC well and, and, and 
create that story based off all this discovery, you're going to get that deal done. The third way that you can leverage product throughout the customer lifecycle and live up to demo driven revenue acceleration is to enable all revenue teams with tailored demos. Um, this, this concepts of the micro demo and the discovery demo, um, what they're basically doing, this isn't just a sales function activity. Um, what they're helping you do is facilitate your discussions and all, every revenue team, they have discussions, uh, with prospective customers, uh, and current customers and prospective and current partners, um, that lead to revenue or that's, that's their goal is for them to lead to revenue. So micro demos can be used on the first calls with them to talk through, uh, initial problem solution. Discovery demos can be used with them uh, to do that deeper dive with additional stakeholders. Um, so how you can really leverage tailored demos and enable these teams is create uh, as many templates really as you can. So create micro demo templates for each uh, use case and problem solution that you have uh, and, and create discovery demo templates by persona, uh, by product line, making it very easy for uh, all these different groups can just like pull into the, the toolbox and pull up the right demo whenever they need to help them facilitate uh, their discussions and move business forward. So Misha, you might want to touch on something uh, a little bit about how you can do this in customer success. Yeah, I think we've only got about four or five minutes left. So I'll make this, this part snappy, but um, and I don't think that when people think of customer success, they think a lot about like, um, you know, demoing the product. But in fact, in customer success, we spend majority of our time showing the product. So that might be via training. But the one that I think is really relevant here and exciting is, uh, you know, growth and upsell opportunities. So just like in sales, I can't tell you how many times I went to show um, features to a customer to, to, to outline like, you know, what they have today versus what they can get um, in an upgraded product. And, and I've gotten that pit in my stomach because I have demo anxiety. So I mean, it's a really great opportunity in customer success to be able to use the micro demo or the discovery demo to facilitate the conversation um, to make sure that there's that there's really a, a product fit. So uh, just to reiterate what Rob is saying, this doesn't necessarily have to be a, just a sales or SE thing. It's really one that anyone that is um, responsible for generating revenue and customer facing. Yeah, I, I can tell you, I can speak to the business development side and the marketing side and, and partnerships. Um, obviously you should, you know, we're recommending, we're seeing uh, our customers really use uh, these micro demos and tailored demos as early as that intro call with the SDR, BDR, enabling them to do better discovery and qualification uh, faster and provide value and, and kind of kick off uh, an authentic relationship with our prospects. Um, marketing, you know, you, the, you can do like a public demo, um, but really uh, the idea here is how can we get more insight earlier on and, and feed that into, into the sales process? Demo, uh, marketing can help with that to, to pull up the right micro demo. If you can go into that first call, already kind of knowing, uh, having some insight to work with there. And then the partnerships, um, just being able to put demos in the hands of your partners so they can better you know, talk to integrations or they can, if they're a reseller, they can do their selling. Uh, there's not many partner reselling situations where they have much access to products. So that can be a real game changer for them. And then obviously use it for partnership development and helping them close those deals uh, as well. So in, in short here, what, what tailored demos help you do uh, is focus the conversation uh, and facilitate the conversation and move it forward, give them that visual uh, and give them value uh, to help move that forward uh, to lead to revenue and accelerate revenue um, across the customer life cycle, across each uh, team. So I think we only have a minute or two left, but um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we'll see if there's any questions in the chat. So um, let's see here. I, and I guess I should just say that if we don't get to all the questions, please join us in our booth. We'd love to, to chat with you there. I'm seeing a couple of interesting questions here. Um, 
Yeah. So basically, is the idea to go pain by pain, feature by feature within the demo. So that first discovery demo that you go into, uh, there might be a bit of that, but hopefully you gathered some good insight from the micro demo process and you've identified a core pain and you can kind of start off your story in the uh, in the discovery demo at that at that juncture and dive in deeper there. And then if you're having a really engaging conversation back and forth about that pain point, then you're going to kind of naturally be able to take it to other places. Like they're going to talk about another pain and then you can uh, bring it over to that area and start telling that story. And that's a really different experience than just going straight into a product tour. Cause that's what you're doing in a normal demo. A uh, first call demo is a product tour, like a Harbor tour. Like there's the Golnia bridge, there's Koi tower, etc. So we're saying definitely don't do that. Utilize micro demos, go into that with as much insight as you can and have an engaging conversation around the, the story that you think that they're going to connect with. I think we're, we're at time, but we saw a whole bunch of great responses to when are you demoing? It seems like it's all over the board. Some people are demoing early, some people are demoing late, but um, I think we'd love to chat with you all more um, at our booth and we can share a little bit more about ourselves maybe. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Um, big news announcement today. We, we just launched out of Stealth at, at Demo Stack and uh, go check us out. We have launch coverage on, on TechCrunch, but go to our booth ask us questions there, happy to answer a little bit more um, about demo stack and about demo driven revenue acceleration um, and progressive demoing in general. Thank you guys so much. Thanks everyone. Definitely check them out um, and hope you enjoy the networking and other sessions in the platform. See you soon. Bye everyone, thank you. Bye.